Hey Virgo, it's Suzanne at Sunny Forest Tarot. How are you? Uh, this is a reading for love for February 2019. And we are going to get started. Okay, so three shuffles. Both decks have been pre-shuffled. Two, this is for Virgo for love in February. All right, that's it. So we're gonna have a row up here for one person in this reading and then a row down here for the second person or the second energy in this reading. Either row can represent you or the person that you are watching this reading for. All right, so let's get started. First card I have, Three of Cups, Five of Wands, Two of Swords, okay, so we might have some competition going on here. And then the second row we have the King of Pentacles, Nine of Cups, lots of choices in this reading, and the Eight of Swords. Okay, this is, this is pretty, this story is showing itself pretty clearly here. Um, it looks to me like there are potentially three people involved um, somehow from this person's perspective. Um, so, I'm going to say that this is probably the person you, okay, are being represented up here. You're feeling as though that you're either a third wheel or a third person um, in a, a relationship right now, and you feel that there is some competition going on and of course there would be in any type of third party type of situation um, I don't feel that this is a third party situation within a marriage and you know I'll tell you why in a minute um, the five of wands does indicate some some debate happening, some competition. You feel like you're competing for somebody's attention, that you're debating with somebody over this. Uh, you might be testing somebody, this person down here. You may not be completely sure that, that there are three people involved um, because of the Two of Swords. I think you're in your head about this you're suspicious. <laughs> There's a suspicious quality here with this card. The Two of Swords indicates uncertainty, so I don't think you're sure that there actually is a third party type of situation going on, but you're suspecting it right now. So um, be careful how much you, you challenge somebody on that because that is not going to pull somebody to you necessarily. So if you're keeping this to yourself right now, however, that that's causing you some, some definite uncertainty. And this moon in this Two of Swords, in this particular Two of Swords, um, definitely indicates some illusion that's going on. So there might be something going on that you're not aware of that's giving you a false impression that there is a, a potential third party when there may not be, okay? Or maybe, maybe there was the opportunity for somebody to explore um, another relationship with somebody else and they may not have. Okay, so if they're telling you that they are not in a third party relationship or seeing somebody else, I, I'd really, really consider that they may be telling you the truth about that. Okay, um, down here we have the King of Pentacles, 
All right, so, and because the King of Pentacles is somebody that is very generous and very giving in, in his particular nature or her, depending on, you know, who is who, um, they're intelligent, they, they have control over the situations that they find themselves in. You may, you may be mistaking this person's generosity towards somebody as a, a relationship that, or a budding relationship that just isn't there. This person might be going out of their way for somebody at work, uh, you know, to help them out. Um, and you, you may be misinterpreting that. You do have a strong passion for this person, though. Um, this person being very successful in life and just things have come easily to this person. And this person draws people in. And so it appears with this seven, I'm sorry, with this nine of cups, you know, that this person isn't somebody that's going to, isn't going to respond well to insecurity. Uh, they are fulfilled within themselves. They have a good level of self-fulfillment in just about every aspect of their life. Okay, so as far as this Eight of Swords here, this person, I mean, this indicates, you know, feeling trapped in a situation. If you or this person up here is coming at them, accusing them of something that isn't going on, their generous nature, it, it's, it's keeping them in their head and making them, it's pulling them away from you, basically. And it's making them feel trapped and they're asking themselves, they're pulling themselves back and asking themselves, you know, what happened here? What, what am I missing? What am I doing wrong that this person is mistrusting me? All right, so let me clarify this Eight of Swords here. like I don't feel like this whatever this whatever you think this third party is I don't feel like this is happening in this particular story the Sun okay so that's about the happiest card that you can get <laughs> all right and so if this were not here or these feelings were not here or this feeling of feeling trapped in you know, asking what's going on, why is this person acting like this? If that wasn't there, this person would be viewing you as the sun, as their ultimate happiness. All right. That's, that's what I'm seeing here. So insecurity or something here is getting in your way. Um, that is an illusion. Moon. Illusion. All right, so be mindful of that because sometimes we're our own worst saboteurs. Now we're going to get clarification from the Romance Angels just to see, you know, and confirm for us. Virgo, what's causing you this insecurity? Hmm? What is it? All right, let's see. So for this person up here, we have new love. So maybe, you know, maybe that is the answer to the question I just asked. <laughs> you know, what's causing you this insecurity? If this is a new love situation and maybe you guys don't have all the communication that that you should 
that you should be having, the heart-to-heart -heart conversations that you should be having at this point. Maybe that's what's causing this, you know, insecurity or illusion on your part is because it is a new relationship. It is new love. You don't know each other as well as, you know, somebody that's been in a, a relationship for six months. That might be, that might be the challenge of what's causing angst in this person. Down here we have engagement. Okay, so this could mean a couple of things, okay? Um, your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. All right, so maybe that's why this person, you know, is feeling trapped in their head is because they're considering a higher level of commitment or a new love relationship with you. And, you know, it's something that they're, they're thinking about and maybe stewing about <laughs> because of what's the dynamic of what's going on between you right now, all right? So again, if, if this wasn't here, if this insecurity wasn't here, I feel like that would be, that would be gone and this would be a very, very happy union, maybe leading to an engagement, a quick engagement. So, Get rid of your insecurities. They're not serving you right now at all. All right, Virgo. All right, so that's what I have for you. Um, if you'd like a more personalized, uh, deeper reading to take a look at what's going on for you, you can take a look at the description box below. I'd be happy to, to connect with you and do that for you. So, uh, Otherwise, I will see you next time. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Bye.